Hey guys, this is Hetu and welcome or welcome back to ETLQ Labs. So guys, uh, in this session, we will try to understand how uh, QA engineering or uh, the quality engineering looks like, right? Different questions on career front. Today, we will try to uh, give an honest uh, attempt to answer all of this, right? And this will be based completely based on my uh, experience so far in industry. And also, these are my personal views, guys, right? So the views from the other people can be different also, right? And uh, I'm not here to, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to undermine any other skills here, guys, but I'm just going to tell you the truth, right? What I feel, right? Uh, again, it's my personal view, right? So this is not to offend anybody, like this is not to offend uh, development engineers or, you know, any other, uh, you know, uh, what do you say, uh, software engineering professional, right? But then uh, this will be completely based on my understanding what I have experienced so far, right? Uh, so yeah, I mean, if uh, you have different opinion, I completely respect that as well, all right? So let's start then uh, these all these questions one by one and we'll try to understand sh in short, right? So first is uh, career growth of a QA engineer, a test engineer, right? So as I said, now the QA engineers are much more smarter, right? So I'll tell you what are the different uh, things that a QA engineer uh, will have, right? So QA engineer will have a holistic understanding about about the domain, right? So whichever business you are working, right? So uh, it's very important that business knowledge is critical. Business knowledge, right? For a QA engineer, it's very important. And as a QA engineer, you are actually supposed to know entire application itself, right? End-to-end -end application, <clears throat> if you want to test that application, right? So hence, the business application or business knowledge is uh, something that a QA engineer gains a lot. And once you know the business knowledge, which is basically core of any uh, any uh, any business, right? Once you understand that, your career growth will obviously be very very good right because you understand the business on top of this uh, you are working in a qa right qa is basically the i would say the the toll gate right without your certification none of the product can go to production right which means actually there is nothing i mean the qa is the final person who actually is the gatekeeper i would say who actually certi certify that okay now this particular application is good to release in the production right so you see what is the importance that a qa engineer have it right so from that point of view again in terms of skills also i will say as a qa right you need to know multiple skills right i mean you you would agree to me if you are uh, if you are already working into qa right you need to know every skill that is required to test it right so we basically divide uh, testing into two parts right back end testing and front end testing right back end testing and front end testing where if you cover the back end and front end testing uh, a tester or the qa engineer is supposed to test this both of the things right for example you have a ui ui is also supposed to be tested and back end is also supposed to be tested many times there is no two uh, uh, engineers right there is a single person uh, as a QA engineer and that person is actually supposed to take end to end right or even there are two people or three people they will be basically should be expert into testing end to end right the front end and back end also right and hence skills play a very important role here multiple skills you need to know actually right so for example you need to know database you need to know Linux you need to know uh, uh, you know uh, if you are actually doing uh, some sort of functional testing, you need to know the testing concepts, right? And if you are also doing some sort of automation or wave automation, then you need to know actually uh, Selenium or mobile automation, APM and all these skills, right? So these are actually a lot of skills that you need to know, right? When you compared uh, with uh, the development engineer, right? So that's the truth, right? Because development engineer will be actually focusing either on the back end or either on the front end, right? So a back end engineer will actually do the coding like microservices, etc. They will be creating on the back end. Uh, on the server side basically and the front-end engineer basically will be working on the front-end uh, side 
UI and uh, web etc right website etc right so that is uh, something uh, that the QA engineer has got uh, got uh, you know edge over it and hence in terms of career growth when you have these all these skills right then you can you imagine right you know you are better than anyone else here right because you know domain you know business you know multiple skills etc and this is all combining all of this together i think you become very better person right very good person in terms of you know understanding the holistic view of the business and for any business uh, the domain knowledge is must right and that is there with qa i am not saying that develop developer will not have it but the developers are again limited to their module right but when it comes to testing i think tester or the qa engineer is supposed to know all the modules basically because the person is supposed to test the flow right so you see that what are the things you have and now in terms of career growth guys right so when you start as a qa engineer it will be very similar to your development engineer right and uh, slowly uh, if you move and you keep yourself updated i think you are always on par with development engineers as well right and in some cases i have seen that you know uh, where there are only uh, very very few qa engineers and there are more and more developers qa engineer sometime actually getting paid more right so i have seen it personally right so it's all depends on skills right so because if you have more skills then you will get paid more right so that is how it works right so career growth there is no problem you can actually grow as fast as you can grow in the development line right or even sometime better right uh, so yeah that's what about the career growth second point is about the pay package right as i said qa versus development right so pay package when i say like uh, it's again right i mean uh, there is uh, there is i mean people say that you know qa is generally uh, getting less paid and all i will completely uh, de i mean i will not accept this uh, this is not the fact right this is uh, kind of uh, not reality i would say rather this is a myth right that people think about it because uh, if you are actually not skilling up yourself right if you are for example let's say you are a functional tester right you don't know any skills right for example you don't know how to do automation you don't know how to uh, test something using the automated script you don't know a database skill linux skill and all those skills right you don't know how to do it you only know how to actually do the website testing or i would say the functional testing functionality of the uh, uh, i would say the uh, website right uh, and then in that case you cannot just go and complain that you know you are getting less paid than development who actually built this application right the application front end or back end they have actually developed and you are what you are doing you are actually just testing the ui part of it right whether the inputs are correct whether the boundary cases are correct and all those things right and then you uh, you cannot just simply complain that you are getting less paid obviously you will not be getting paid because you have never worked on your skill right so that is the reason uh, this is the general people people just think that you know this is the uh, thing uh, this used to be there before i would say maybe 20 years before because people were actually doing completely black box testing those days right and when you actually do the black box testing you really don't apply any skill here right so it is it is it is like you don't need to know any computer science or the data structure you don't need to know anything actually you can simply navigate to application and try to see whether the the functionality is working like end to end flow is working fine in that case i think uh, uh, i mean you can expect that right what level of work you are doing in that case how how can you expect that you will be getting um, paid on par with development right but now the scenario is changed right because one qa engineer can uh, may have to write you know automation code or web automation and the same engineer also have to write some python or backend automation or also you know etl testing data warehouse testing these are very very critical skills right so in that case uh, if you say that as i said that in in some places i have seen that qas are getting more paid with the same experience level of experience qas are getting more paid than development engineer right so it's again like you have to be always on top of your skill right uh, so that is how it is about pay package so it's it's uh, it's very 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 good basically here as well right now 
third question is how to increase your salary so there is no shortcut guys right so to increase your salary you have to actually work on your skill right so you need to actually see that what is trending in the market right you need to know first of all core right first first thing i would suggest you actually need to uh, work on your skill you have to choose either back end or front end if you can actually do both the testing like front end and back end nothing like it you can actually be the 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 highest paid uh, employee i would i would say in your uh, in your team right if you actually have the combination of back end testing and front end testing but uh, but sometime like you know we all are human being we don't have the capacity to learn everything but so i will say that you either choose uh, kind of uh, back end testing but also have some flavor of uh, Uh, front end testing for example you know uh, wave automation right wave automation you can actually learn selenium right uh, you have the basic understanding of selenium wave driver uh, wave driver and all and uh, and then you uh, focus on your core skill of your let's say you are working on data warehousing right data warehousing testing then you know all the informatica all the etl tools etc you know that but you also have some flavor of understanding of uh, how you can do the uh you know uh, the uh, automation testing if it is needed right uh, so if you can actually skill up on this i think your salary can you can actually keep increasing your salary right there is no constant in the salary part right so currently uh, the current uh, industry basically it's uh, knowledge driven it's not the experienced year of experience driven industry now how much ever you have knowledge you will be getting paid right so there is no simple uh, you know shortcut here you have to increase your skill right so that that's what i always focus and i always encourage you guys to do right all right so the fourth question is the key habits and practices i would say the key habits are basically uh, what you have to do is you have to keep learning right you should never stop learning so i would say uh, one of the habit that i feel and i personally follow is actually keep learning every day right so if i'm working on something uh, for example if i am um, uh, learning one skill i will actually focus on that skill and i will allocate at least one hour every day right one hour every day i will at least put one hour every day so that you know it will be it will be i can continue with the flow right so that is one of the habit and then always keep your eyes open right because what is happening in the industry because lot of shift and lot of changes happen in the industry and uh, a different type of testing basically uh, are different type of tools and technology keeps coming right so it's important that you are always on top of it right that is the habit that we should be there and the practices as i said right so these are the you have to believe in your networking as well right so you make sure that you have the good people in your network and they are they belongs to uh, you know they are highly motivated and uh, you know you basically need to surround yourself with the positive people right positive mindset people so these are the few things that you should be uh, keeping in your mind right in terms of habits and practices i think then you are all done and uh, make sure that whatever you are good at you continue to improve uh, more and more and whatever you don't know you feel something you need to learn some skill you need to learn you actually continue to learn don't shy away from this right so that is what it is now the fifth question is really the future prospect of a test professional testing professional or quality engineering as i said that there is there is a very good future prospects because nowadays you see uh, the uh, the kind of applications that we have in the market nowadays right do do up those applications needs a lot of agility right agility in terms of delivery agility in delivery right and you can't deliver anything until it is tested right so testing become very 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 important and you don't have time basically right hence lot of things we need to actually do the automation also right and hence actually the testing engineers future prospect is always bright right because see developer's job is basically to develop it but until it is tested there is no use of it right so that is the reason i'm saying future is always good and it has been good right there is no replacement of uh, you know um, qa engineer or testing engineer right i mean it will be more and more only because lot of critical applications keeps coming uh, and uh, 
uh, a lot of medical devices which are being tested basically are very important because you can't even afford to have a small bug also in those applications right uh, for example uh, in in the medical field let's say pacemaker right if the pacemaker is not properly tested it can have a very catastrophic uh, effect on the human life also right and uh, i mean similar thing right i mean the financial industry also if uh, if your application is not properly designed it can you, you it can have a lot of big impact on you know uh, a lot of uh, financial loss losses as well right so that's why the testing is always very very important and it will always be there guys right only thing is you have to keep yourself updated you have to keep learning the things and keep your eyes and ears open all the time right so that is what i wanted to talk about this video guys i really hope that this help this will help you right uh, and uh, as i said again some people can have the different view but uh, this is what i can say based on my experience in this uh, industry for several years now right and uh, yeah so hopefully this will be helpful for you and uh, helpful for you to decide your career path right if you are yet to choose and uh, yeah uh, and take the honest decision uh, are, are the uh, uh, i would say the right decision for your career right that's all guys then i'll see you soon with the next video until then happy learning god bless you bye